Hello everybody and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I am doing you Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your channeled messages from spirit. This will not resonate with you all as these messages are directed towards the collective for those who need to hear it most. So if it doesn't fit your situation, um, try again next time and hopefully I'll pick up on your energy. Um, but this will not resonate with everyone. And just remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. So Taurus, your theme for this month's reading, strength, strength within, expansion and personal growth. It's time to take action. It's time to take a step in the direction of happiness. It's time to get out of that shadow side that you have been living in. And by that I mean like holding on to something that you know is not the best for you. Some of you are holding on tight to a relationship that it no longer serves you for a couple of reasons. For a group of you, they are moving on to somebody else. And in that hurt and sadness and anxiety, you are holding on tight to these people. But Spirit wants you to realize that once you let go and let things happen as the universe um, is trying to um, make it go, you have new opportunities coming in. You have bigger, better things coming for you. You're holding on and making yourself miserable. Um, for a group of you, this person um, stepped out on your guys' relationship. And now you're full of anxiety. Every time you're separated from this person, you're wondering where they're at, who they're with, who they're talking to, what they're doing, if they're out there cheating. I mean, Spirit says you don't deserve to live that way. You deserve to be with somebody who you trust. And doesn't make you feel the way you have been feeling lately. For another group of you, you're hanging on to somebody out of fear of finances. Spirit is saying money will not be an issue. Sorry, my hair keeps standing on end from the, all the energy. <laughs> um, it's like you're refusing to accept endings. Don't force somebody to be with you. And Taurus, if you're the one being forced to stay or you feel like you're forced to being stay, you're never trapped in a place. You can always go. The other person will always be okay. Some of you are dealing with secrets from a partner and it's making you emotionally and physically stuck. This deception has got a hold on you. It's keeping you from moving forward, but it's keeping you from letting go. Spirit's saying it's time to take a step towards the light. It's time to allow yourself to be happy. Because the person you're dealing with for a group, this group of you, the person you're dealing with is emotionally unavailable. You know things are different. You know things are have changed. It's no longer serving you. It's no longer serving them. So it, this could be vice versa because this is general as well, but it's time to release them. For another group of you, you're worried about this person leaving you. Don't worry. It's going to work out, Spirit says. You're going to receive justice in this situation, and things are going to work out for the best. That means Taurus, some of you are leaving people behind and vice versa.
it's like it's like you're going in cycles it's like continuous and Spirit says it's gonna do that until you let go of this person quit banging your head on the wall trying to make a different outcome because you're stressing yourself out for no reason if you want to go go you have the strength to move forward and start over and be happy if you have somebody who is wanting to leave and you know that they're not happy, you know that their mind's somewhere else, then let, let them go and begin to heal. And I know that's easier said than done, believe me. But that's what needs to be done before your abundance can come in, before your twin flame, your true love, your soulmate, the person you're meant to be as a life partner is standing there waiting for you, Taurus. They're waiting for you to release this person and move forward so they can meet you there. I see for a group of you, you guys are starting to regain your emotions. You guys, since, well, really since July or August of last year, but especially since December to now, your emotions have been all over the place. You're trying to make it appear to everybody else that, you know, you got this, that you're fine, but you're a mess. But for this group of you, you are regaining control of your emotions. You are leaving March making big choices, big changes. You're getting out of being stuck. You're leaving the instability behind. You're leaving the anxiety behind. And you're facing the day with a whole new outlook. It's time to release your insecurities. This situation has made you self-conscious. You feel vulnerable in a negative way. You are anxious about tomorrow, the next day, the next day. Spirit is saying just leave your, uh, leave your insecurities behind you. Face your fears. Sometimes the scariest thing you're going to do in life is walk to the edge and jump. Take that leap of faith. But Spirit is calling on you to do that now. It's, it's your time. It's divine timing. Your blessings can't come in if you're stuck holding on to what isn't meant for you. It's time to take action and allow yourself to be happy. Allow yourself to be free of stress, anxiety, depression, not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy, not feeling like you're ever gonna feel good again. There are many people in your life, those that you have met and you haven't met, they are wanting to have the chance to be with you. And you're cutting everybody, every opportunity you have for love, you're cutting them off. You're emotionally disconnected, including from the, your current partner And it's like, you don't want to let go, but you don't want to put any work in either. Or this is them to you. And this isn't going to be for everybody. So if, if you need to hear this message, you'll know by now, this message is for you. For a group of you Taurus, you have a soulmate coming in. You are going to meet them at a gathering of some sort. It could be a work meeting. It could be a birthday party at a restaurant and you, you meet the waiter or, you know, something. You are with a group of people and I see them as people your age. So I don't think it's like a family get together. I think It's, it's with 
your own age group. It could be like a church function though, something along those lines. You'll have dark hair, brown eyes. You aren't going to be interested at first. They are going to come into your life as a friend first because you're not emotionally available for a romance. This person is your soulmate, your twin flame. It is the first time you've met in this lifetime, but you have had many lifetimes together. This isn't your what you would have in mind as your soulmate. But they are going to become your best friend. And it is going to evolve into so much more. And the reason why you're starting out as friends first is because you're emotionally disconnected. You're not looking for love. You have that connection, that spark, but you're too hurt right now to even realize what it is. But as you start to heal, you're going to know like that. No question in your mind. For another group of you, you're starting new jobs. Um, some of you are moving across the country for new work, for promotions. I see this as a big move. If you're worried about your kids, they're going to be fine. Wherever you are happy, they will be happy. So go for it. Now's the time. Divine timing. Everything, March and April are going to